Owen. It's impossible to summarize all the ways we've laughed together, challenged each other, and grown over time. So I'll focus on just one important theme, commitment. Over the years, we've made countless commitments to each other. But one that stands out today is our pack to hike our favorite peak in Vermont once every month, which we've kept up for the last few years and counting. The hike itself isn't the most challenging, but some months are harder than others. We can't always plan our Vermont trips around the weather, so we've hiked in a downpour on a trail turned creek, and in the winter months, we're lucky if icy footing is the biggest obstacle. No matter what, we always make it to the summit together, and when we're at the top, taking in the views, it always feels worth it. Despite how cliche a mountain metaphor is, today it exemplifies my promise to you. Now I, I know I introduced myself as Liz's older sister, which is true, um, but if you spent any amount of time with the two of us, you would probably think it was the other way around. And that is because Liz is always, always uh, taking care of me. And it isn't just me that she's always taking care of. It's everyone she loves that she's constantly supporting. And she usually does it without even being asked. It's just in her nature. When I first met Liz, I thought she hated me. <laughs> but... The magic of Liz is that if you're lucky enough, like we all are, to call her a friend, you know exactly how much love she has to give. Liz isn't just caring, she's the most loyal person in the room. And although there are very few people I love as much as I love my little sister, Owen comes pretty close. <laughs> he is the most genuinely kind, patient, thoughtful person who is also secretly just so bizarre and hilarious. I was six years old when Owen was born, and every single day, waiting for him to arrive, I would go into his nursery, check the crib to see if he was there. I was so excited to have a little brother. As he got older, I could see the attributes he had developed. He's kind and empathetic, as you've all heard time and time again during this wedding. <laughs> And he certainly gained the athletic abilities that I never had. I won't go into why, but what I can say is that he must, had, he must have had an absolutely miraculous, stars-aligning moment of self-reflection when he met Liz. Anyone who has spent even a little bit of time with them can see that Owen loves her and is devoted to her. Good afternoon, everyone. We gather here to celebrate the marriage of Elizabeth and Owen. By joining us here today, you are offering your love and support. You are all helping to ensure that these two begin their married life together, surrounded by the people most important to them. Today, we celebrate two people who have found the person that they're supposed to be with and are becoming a family. So Owen and Elizabeth, I love you both endlessly. Congratulations, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Liz, as I stand here with you today and look back on all the years we've spent together, I'm reminded of how much you mean to me and how grateful I am to have you in my life. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where I would be without you. I remember falling in love with you from the moment we started talking because of your compassion <clears throat> and caring nature. You're concerned about challenges in life that I was facing and wanted to help me overcome them. Your continued support, not only myself, but everyone you love is one of the million things that makes you so special.
I vow to treat our marriage with the same level of commitment as we give our monthly hikes. From this day on, we'll face every decision, milestone, and challenge together. And with every step, I vow to trek through to reach the summit so we can enjoy moments of serenity and be reminded of why it's all worth it. I promise to put our, com our relationship and your happiness first and to commit my life to you so that we can be happy together. I promise to continue improving daily through my health, career, decision making, friendships, and our relationship so that each day I'm the best version of myself. Whenever we do succeed and we're at the top, let's vow to remind each other to pause, breathe, and enjoy the moment. So now I want to pause, breathe, and enjoy this moment. All jokes aside, Liz and Owen, you really are such an incredible partnership. I rarely experience as much comfort, peace, companionship, and laughter as I do when I'm in your presence. It is one of the joys of my life to be around such unconditional love and to know that it's my little sister experiencing it. I am so glad that you guys have found each other and, I'm, and for all the happiness that is to come in your future together as husband and wife. I love you guys. Liz, we're so excited to have you in our family, even if it has already felt that way for so long. I love you both and wish you the best. Everyone raise your glasses, please. Toast to Owen and Liz. Owen and Elizabeth, have you proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the eyes of these loved ones and with the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Vermont. I am happy to pronounce you husband and wife. Owen, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>